Well, it's a little bit uh, strange and funny, but uh, my parents were very um, insistent that I should be stand out in something in a way that would make me different from the crowd and that would help my future. So um, they started me off with swimming and for a while, and, but then they decided they were gonna give me a, uh, a choice of piano or tennis. Nice, right, piano? <laughs> so I chose tennis. And, um, and I was told if I didn't work, I wasn't gonna, you know, didn't work, make the honor roll, I wasn't gonna play tennis and that they expected me to win to play tennis. And, you know, I really didn't feel like it as pressure because when I, I somehow I wanted to win. So when I won my first tournament, that, you know, it was all about that. I started off playing in, when I was about 10, 11, and I uh, won the 14 and under um, just a few years later. Actually, I lost to the girl and the Sugar Bowl, love and love, and in two years I beat her <laughs> in the final. So, um, and then I won the National Girls uh, 16 and under singles and doubles, and then went on to the 18 clay courts. Juniors, women's, and uh, I was a three-time finalist in the United States women's clay courts, and I won it one year um, in 1970. When I was playing around the world, I was on Federation Cup, Whiteman Cup, and I won the Italian Open in 1972. I played, and um, as it turned out, because of my name, Tuero, the Italians really supported, supported me, and I got a lot of attention and a lot of applause, and so it, w it was a great experience. Well, um, I did do out-of-the-country touring. Um, it was... Um, like South Africa and, and then Europe. And that was an incredible experience, playing with the boys, and they were great. I did have an eight and one record with the boys. And of course, I was playing under the uh, well-known famous coach, Emmett Paré, who had, had coached me since I was, I think, 12. I remember trying out to see if he would take me. No, in 2000, I was 50 years old, and I decided, that I wanted to go back to grad school. And that had always been in my mind since I stopped playing tennis. And I went back and I got a master's in anthropology with a specialization in paleoanthropology. So I was able to um, go on excavations. I went to Lake Turkana and excavated and lived in a dry riverbed for six weeks with Rutgers University. Um, looking for remains of Homer and Gasker, and that was always a dream. So I did that, and then I got into paleontology. Um, I don't have a degree, but I know an awful lot in geology. So um, again, my com obsessive compulsive behavior has just traveled a 